Welcome to Louis Moto HQ. In this video, we will be installing our Gold Gel Premium Insert and Designer Seat Cover for a BMW R9T. Let's get started. Now, let's review what tools you will need to get the job done. Staple remover or small flathead screwdriver, pliers to assist in removing stubborn staples, box cutter with additional blades, marker or sharpie, ruler or straight edge, sand block or sandpaper, six millimeter industrial upholstery staples, scissors, staple gun, air compressed recommended. Firstly, flip the seat over, then remove all existing staples to reveal the factory foam. Place the OEM seat cover to the side if you are reinstalling the original cover at the end. Now let's take a look at the gel kit. Today we are installing our GG1 Premium Insert, which is ideal for rider only seats like this BMW R9T. Placing the gel over the seat helps you plan roughly where the gel will sit in relation to your pelvic points. Before you start cutting, make sure to inspect the foam to ensure it is thick enough to integrate the gel. Avoid cutting the foam too close to the edge of the seat. Finding markings or grooves can help you locate the center of the seat. If you're meticulous about it, you're welcome to measure. Otherwise, use your Sharpie to make the mark, and then again on the front. Take your ruler and connect those lines with your Sharpie. Now you have a center point to reference. Next, take the ruler to locate the center of the gel. Now align those two corresponding lines. Again, ensuring the gel is placed symmetrically. Making marks will help you determine how much gel you will need for coverage. Of course, using measurement can help with a symmetrical install. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Connect the dots with your Sharpie. Now use your blade to remove what you don't need. Take your Sharpie and mark each corner. Then connect the dots. It's helpful to cut on the inside of this line to help the gel sit where it needs to, also leaving some ability to cut and adjust as needed. To ensure a deep enough cut, adjust the blade to the thickness of the gel. Now, draw lines approximately two to three centimeters apart. Make your incision, then begin cutting around the outside.
If the blade is catching, replace the blade. Extend your blade for this next part. If it helps, you can drag your sharpie down each knife trench to reference how deep you should go. As you cut around the outside, make sure the tip of your blade is visible. Remember to cut no deeper than your trench. Once you've cut around the outside, begin with an extended blade and angle your cut approach. Foam manufacturers differ in thickness, so having additional blades can be helpful. Flip the seat around for better cutting angles. As you can see, we now have noticeable ridges in the foam. If your blade is dull, replace it. Then extend your blade further for this next part. Remember not to carve too much and test as you go. If the valleys you've created are still visible, continue to carve the foam until you have a level surface. Now test and see how it fits. If it sticks out awkwardly or doesn't sit flush, cut additional foam to adjust. To have an even smoother surface, you are welcome to sand and gauge as you go. Next, remove the thin plastic and place into your seat. After that stage is complete, take out the foam provided with the kit. Gray side up, place your seat on top to quickly gauge the overall size and area you need to spray with glue. You can also spray additional glue directly onto the seat for better adhesion. Use your hands to help the glue stick to your seat. If you deem it necessary, use eye protection and earplugs for this next step. We use six millimeter industrial upholstery staples. Stretch the layer of foam over the seat and remove major wrinkles and staple as you go. Once done, take your scissors to cut off the remaining foam. Next up, the seat cover. 
For this, we are doing a late model BMW R9T. Depending on the seat cover, we provide a water barrier. This helps maintain the integrity of the foam in bad weather. The vinyl reacts to the heat in your hands as well. Massaging and pushing the cover over the edges helps eliminate any unsightly wrinkles. Make sure the seat cover is symmetrical before stapling. Find the center and staple it. Consider approaching the staple process like installing a spare tire, ensuring a symmetrical fit. Alternate sides to ensure the seat cover is centered. Go ahead and trim the remaining water barrier. Now you're done and ready to ride. Remember to like this video, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to our channel for more Louis Moto content.